Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I'm going to tell you how to make this abstract animation that could be useful for motion graphics. It's very customizable, and you can create unlimited different styles or types of animations. What you currently see on the screen is some of the styles that I could achieve. You need to use Blender version 3 or higher. It's suitable for beginners so let's get started. Let's split this window horizontally to make room for our lovely geometry node editor. The default cube is the object that will host the geometry nodes, so I'll name it Geo. Press New to create a new node setup. You can delete this input node, because we are not going to use the geometry of the cube. Instead, I'll insert the geometry of a star so press Shift A and select Curve Primitives and choose Star. This node inserts a star as a curve. Let's quickly have a look at its options. If you set the number of points to 3, you will get this triangular shape that has 3 points only. A standard star shape should have 5 points. Using more points will produce cool shapes like this. Inner radius is the radius of these inner vertices that lie on a virtual inner circle. Let's change it to see the difference. You can also set it to be larger than the outer radius, and this will bring the inner vertices to the outside of the outer circle. I think 1 is a suitable value for the inner radius. Similarly, the outer radius controls these outer vertices. You can increase it to have a shape like this. You can also set it to be lower than the inner radius. I think a value of 2 is good. You can twist your star by changing the angle here, and we will depend mainly on this setting to make our animation. Now let's create our instance object, it should be an icosphere. Let's bring it to the right. Click on the object that has the geometry nodes. Insert a point instance node. Pick up the icosphere. Select the icosphere and enter edit mode to scale it down. Now each vertex on the start has a corresponding icosphere. To make it clearer, I'll add a Join Geometry node so I can make the curve of the star visible. As you can see there is an icosphere on each vertex. If you change the number of points, the count of the icospheres, and their locations will change correspondingly. We need to distribute icospheres along the edges or the sides, we don't need them to be on the vertices only. We need to subdivide each edge so it has many vertices, and each vertex will have an icosphere. This way we can distribute icosphere along the curve of the star. Search for the curve subdivide node and add it. Increasing the number of cuts will increase the number of vertices of each edge. I think 10 is a suitable value, and we should scale down our icosphere. Now there is no need to see the curve of the star. Let's do the animation part. First, we need to insert a value node and make it return the frame number. Type hashtag frame and press enter. Let's go to frame 19 for example, the output of the node will be 19 as well. 
Connect this to the twist. Wow, that looks cool, but it's a little bit fast. You can slow down the animation by dividing the frame number by 10. It's amazing. Let's add some materials. Click on the Icosphere and go to this Material tab. Press New. We need to play with the color and strength of the emission. Set the strength value to be 15. Choose your favorite color. We need EV to calculate emission and bloom so go to this tab. Check bloom and you may use these other options in your project. I'll set the number of samples to be 1 to make things faster. Go to the world tab and choose a black color. That's so good, Blender can do miracles, you can have solid lines by increasing the number of cuts here. But I prefer the other style. You can also decrease the number of cuts to a very low value to have a different style. You can achieve unlimited styles by adding math functions to the inner and outer radius. Search for the math node and insert it. Oh sorry we don't need it here. The ping pong function can give you cool results so let's try it. I'll connect it to the inner radius. Connect its value input to our value node. That looks great, you can also play with the scale, or even animate it. Increase the number of points here to get more styles. You can connect the ping pong function to the outer radius to get another amazing style. Let's slow down the animation a little bit by dividing the frame number by 20. Disconnect the node from the outer radius. Make a copy of it using Shift-D. Connect the value input like this. And connect the output value to the outer radius. Now you can change the scale. Now the outer radius and the inner radius have two different scales of the ping pong function. I'll set the end frame to 5000. Instead of the ping pong function you can use cosine. I'll feed the cosine function with a different speed input, so let's divide the number of the frame by a specific factor. Let's try 20 for example.
It doesn't make much difference, so I'll try to change it. This looks cool. Disconnect the twist from the input node and connect it to the cosine node. No much difference but still cool. Let's try to connect the nodes this way. This is good, let's use another ping pong function like this. I'll try with you some random different functions. Now Blender is dancing. You can not only play with animations, but also colors. Let's try it. You can animate the emission color like that to have this eye-catching effect. You can also have more than one color at the same time by duplicating your instance object and give each one a different color. Duplicate the icosphere by pressing Shift D. Make a copy of the material by pressing this little icon. Choose a different color. Repeat the same steps to have another icosphere with a different color. Oops, I forgot to duplicate the material. Let's create one last icosphere. Duplicate the material, then choose a color. Select all of them. Right click. Choose Move to Collection. Press New Collection. I'll name it Particles. Click on our Geometry Node object. For the Point Instance node, choose Collection. And select the collection that we've just created. It's called Particles. I'll hide the original icospheres. In Curve Subdivide node, I increase the number of cuts to see how it looks like with lines. Disconnecting the twist may give you cool effects too. Also, changing the number of points is helpful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to get more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm sure one day you will be a wonderful Blender artist. Good luck with learning Blender. Enjoy your time.